Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here for this tutorial on Microsoft Excel. Now in this series I've just been going through what I consider some of the fundamentals of getting around Excel, trying to show you a bunch of little things that I think will make your experience just that much easier when working with Microsoft Excel. But next I want to show you just something about adding sheets to a Microsoft Excel workbook. When you open up Microsoft Excel a lot of people refer to it as a spreadsheet, and yeah, I, I think that's accurate. It, to a certain degree, it's a little bit of slang. What you're actually opening is what's called a workbook. Worksheets, or spreadsheets, make up the workbook. But let's say you want to take this spreadsheet, and you need another one. And a good way to think of this is try to think of it as like a binder that holds paper. And you have one sheet of paper in there, and you say, you know what, in this binder or this folder, I want another sheet of paper. Well, what we do is this. We come down to the bottom, and you'll notice it says Sheet 1. Well, right next to it, there's a little plus sign. And if I click on that, it's going to add another sheet. It's going to be a duplicate sheet of the first one, completely blank. It's going to be, again, our million columns. I'm sorry, a million rows and our roughly 16,000 columns right here. But maybe we even want to add another one, or another one, or another one. So now what I've done is I've quickly added five sheets. Now, when we have this number of sheets, you have to keep stuff organized, and that can get a little tricky. So we know we're on sheet five right now because it's bold and it stands out. But let's say we want to rename this. I'm going to go to sheet two, and I'm going to click on that once just to take us there. And I'm going to double click on the word sheet two. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it Tony one. Let's go to sheet three and I'm going to double click on that name and I'm going to call this Tony two. Again, I'm just double clicking on the name and I can rename it. I can type right over it. So let's call this Tony three. But as we can see, you know, if it's a common name like that versus, you know, maybe sales, you know, let's call it sales 2014, something a little more descriptive, it can get a little confusing. So let's take this to another level. Let's right click on this tab, and when I right click on the tab, what I want you to observe is that we can add a tab color to it. And I'm going to do something rather bold, like a, a blue, for example. Now, because we are physically on this tab or on this spreadsheet, the blue is very faint. You can barely see it. But when I click away to another tab, you'll see that blue becomes readily apparent. Let me right click on Tony1 and go tab color, let's make it orange. Okay, Again, it's very faint, but if I click on tab 2, now we very clearly see the blue with the orange, and it really stands out. Next, I want to illustrate one other thing we can do. Let's say we really want sales 2014 to the left of Tony 1. Well, I'm going to click on this tab and hold, and I'm just going to drag down, and you'll see there's a little sort of black diamond arrow pointing down. I'm going to let go, and now I've moved that around. So all I've done is I've dragged and dropped these tabs, I've colored them, I've renamed them, and when you're working in a workbook with multiple spreadsheets or sheets, you can add some new names, you can add some colors, you can make them really stand out to make them a little bit easier to work with. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz, and that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Thank you very much. Have a great day.